Greetings everyone, here's Lodric and this is a uh, game won the Pacific at Worlds Edition. This is my play by email match against Kilroy. This will be now the turn for the 17th May 1942. This is scenario one and no modification, so everything very standard. Kilroy's carriers and uh, heavy task forces are hitting Marshall Islands and for me it is more or less a little more north, everything hits back for Marcus Island, Saipan, Pegan. So we are very close each other, but still avoiding. And uh, here's a evil British submarine hitting one of my poor civilian cargo ships. Peaceful trading here with the locals, but of course the British don't would have peace; they always want to have conflict. So they. In conflict, or maybe it was a Dutch sub, I'm not so sure. And uh, there's a second cargo ship, but this one is maybe lucky and can avoid. So, more bombardment of melee airbase. This time, maybe they have running out of heavy shells because normally bombardments from battleships are only once okay, and this is maybe all secondary. Uh, shells and they really have not the hitting power. So the light cruisers are back for Auckland. Again, heavy disabled units for me. The tuna miss Max Island. I think this is still my fleet trying to load this Navy Guard units and bring them back to Tokyo. Tuna get one hit. Yeah. Now it's the opposite, my Japanese submarine can also not hit, it four hits. Still night time, still this Dutch sub. Ah uh, yeah, okay you can see. So this is a Dutch guy, so it's a Dutch submarine. The commander is a Dutch guy, then it's also a Dutch submarine. I'm not sure how Pilroy can operate the submarine so deep in between behind my lines. Normally they must come from Perth. I, uh, maybe. If he's coming out of Perth, uh, not sure how long the submarine can stay there without moving back defill for fuel. So there's another convoy coming, going, Marcus Island. My submarine warned me. But uh, unluckily, I get here. This is even deep water, so you can see that it's now summer of 42. And uh, sometimes it's of course luck, but I think also the equipment for allied ships getting better and better. So every hit will create more damage on my subs. I try to clean this minefield in Marcus Island, but this is not so important now first. Next sub strike. So this is also a destroyer division here. Now I spot the yeah, destroyer Clark is still there. I don't know how many days already and how many bomb hits. My nail bombers are first uh, back, trying second time to attack this light bomb uh, cruisers. But again, they fail. Uh, yeah. Still, it needs only one torpedo hit to disable a light cruiser and maybe two torpedo hits to sink them. So it's very risky for Kilroy to use him for bombardment, but at the other side, he must do it maybe to keep my forces under pressure. So. 
strong air support trying to stop wherever it is necessary to suppress the Chinese forces. Yeah, now I think I bring a second air wing down. Now it's the Betty Bombers. Maybe they have more luck. Nah. Very unlucky. Okay, going for a destroyer is, uh, of course, uh, the wrong target. I really only care the light cruisers, but somehow I really miss every attack. And these are all skillful pilots. I would never really use uh, green horns, American can style pilots, or British lucky Bismarck hit uh, pilots. I mean, of course, the British they had skills maybe, or they would never hit something. Uh. But uh, you can see, even if you train your pilots very well, and if you give them a good torpedo airplane, if the enemy ship is uh, fast and can maneuver well, and I think like cruisers are still more maneuver ships, they have high well, maneuver values similar to destroyers, not like heavy cruisers, battleships, carriers, they're simply too fat and too slow. Oh, and they have uh, firepower. But after so many attacks, sooner or later you must create a hit. And now the uh, the cruiser get at least one torpedo hit. Okay, first this thing. Okay, so I lose the torpedo bomber for creating one torpedo hit. This is okay. And this I would always go for. And uh, I think this light cruiser is now at least, not, it will not sink its Auckland port, but must stay maybe in port and is not more ready for uh, bombardments. Also Wellington, some airstrikes, but not, not so strong. Okay, my Marvis Bombers scout airplanes also showing up and uh, they normally are normally, normally search pilots but I train them to torpedo pilots and you can see that the first run immediately make a kit so the person is now also already maybe yeah out of action for some time for bombardments. So the tactical goal is achieved 
Kilo cannot use his light cruisers more for bombardment. He lost one light cruiser in a navy battle some days ago, and two more light cruisers are now disabled in port of Auckland. So that will make it more easy for my navy, um, well, my army divisions in Auckland. Yeah, okay, so my next submarine also gets hit. So it's really dangerous to stay now in shallow water. It was always dangerous, but now it's even more dangerous. So, the 13th Army Group attacking the border. And I open the border to Vietnam. Some disabled units, but nearly nothing gets destroyed. And for the Chinese, yeah. It's near the end. So, still the follow up bombardment. Penguin. So, yeah. so the, the British are around 1,000 attack value, I have 2,500, some more tanks will arrive soon, and I hope this is enough. So first some um, air war of course consumes uh, or there's many attacks on this British forces consume some air frames. I had here two Betty's getting killed directly by Fleck and two more maybe disabled or damaged and the rest are also getting a little one nail bomber so high casualties not high casualties but some lost air frames for this torpedo attacks but at the end I create on both, uh, each of these uh, light cruisers getting a torpedo hit and then it's fine for me. You can see out of these nine airframes I lost now four pilots, yeah. I mean, if you get killed by Fleck, then I think you will not uh, return more. Oh, yeah, uh, ship sunk, uh, was there something? Oh, yeah, I lost one of my very small short range cargo ships. I don't care. Um, nothing really to see in China. My Mongolian army forces arrived in the next town and then I kick, 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 kick and then I only try to reach the capital of Inner Mongolia. I also go here more source and see how strong is the defense in Chongqing because if there are so many forces are here, maybe Kiro will call some forces back because they know I'm coming now. Uh, yeah. Everything else getting here some problems. My army arrived here, so I have now here 1000 attack, 1200 attack value. This is enough to block this Chinese attempt if they want to cross the river. The main body force arrived here in Nanyang. So I will now call some troops source and maybe some others here around. And then trying to encircle this units and Cut them off any supply lines and then take them out. One Chinese uh, border force is still here in position, so I must attack again. But then it's really enough. The British forces here in the jungles and the mountains, I will use maybe some Thai guys. Yeah, I use Thai forces. They are also at the end only police forces, but they can at the end arrest this. Uh, leftover forces. Yeah, my tanks are all now in Pegu, so I can now move together in one turn normally to the hex, and then in two turns I can attack Rangoon. Uh, I think there was a sighting of enemy ships. Ah, yeah. There are more ships moving in, moving out. British ships. And I have here my battleships in position, so maybe they can intercept this. 
maybe a little more burning steel and broken bones. Auckland uh, or New Zealand. So again, New Zealand troops arrived here. Uh, I hope my garrison is enough to hold this. I still have here these two broken Navy Guard units to support me. Uh, we will see if this is strong enough to hold the position. Uh, I must think about what I can do. First important is supplies. I think supplies is all... Without supplies you cannot fight. Uh, and uh, it looks like the light cruisers are not more here. So they are maybe now in port of Auckland. Now there's only mine sweepers and patrol craft or destroyers or whatever. Small equipment. Um, I have no information more where's the enemy fleet, uh, but this is more or less related to because my air base is here broken. I have here nothing left. Everything is more or less on hold because they are enemy carriers. It's too risky to... I know that there are enemy carriers and battleships are nearby. This I must know and this is enough for me to know. Uh, but uh, my focus is still again trying to... Uh, get Marcus Island back. This is done and now it's... I go for Pegan, Saipan, Guam. Taking these three bases and then uh, I think it's uh, more stable first. Then I can think about more. This is a APD... Maybe this is a fast invasion fleet coming for Marcus Island. And here is more going west, so maybe he is coming. So I must maybe think about this. But I finish, I don't know, there's one Navy Guard unit guy left. So I don't know if I will stop the loading and simply let this force left behind and try to get here out before this next force is arriving. I will see. I have still also my carriers here, so maybe I will bring my carriers east again and uh, see if I can intercept this enemy forces. But I cannot cover my own f invasion on Pegan and uh, defend Marcus Island with the forces I have here now. It's, uh, it's a little too far away to get support from Japan or Ishijima. And uh, Truk is also, I mean, Truk can maybe handle this range. So I was able to make this airstrike out of Truk to, for this port base. But Marcus Island is too far away. Yo. So far looks fine. And uh, only short check. So my supply situation in Japan looks now stable. 1.1 million resources. And I have over 150,000 supplies in Tokyo. So this means it's okay. I will always more or less bring uh, now supplies like weekly I think 10 or 20,000 supplies to China to feed the war in China. I think this is necessary. <clears throat> Good. Then see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.